Okay, hi. Welcome back to another one of my um, videos. Uh, not the unboxing one, my, my car videos. Uh, today, it's a really nice day and um, the weather is really good. Like last night it was raining, but now it's all sunny and all good and it's not really cold. It's pretty um, good. I, th I would say it's pretty good. <laughs> and um, um, this morning I actually attended a, a little small function at my son's uh, school, preschool. So they kind of explained, you know, the all nicely dressed up me, but uh, <laughs> I'm the usual kind of t-shirt and jeans guy. I mean, I don't really dress up unless it's for, you know, a special function or, or something that I need to dress up, then I will. If not, t-shirt and jeans, <laughs> that's the way I roll. <laughs> okay, um, today I want to talk about a little review and updates of uh, some of the items, uh, the upgrades that I got for my car so far. Uh, primarily, I want to talk about the Olin's Ronin track suspension and also a little bit uh, on the Recaro um, seats and maybe some other uh, minor stuff along the way. So let's just dive right in. Um, so basically, um, you can see here, this is my engine bay. Um, it's pretty much stock. I didn't really put much uh, stuff in there. Uh, not much performance upgrade except this one is a uh, uh, Valentini. Uh, it's a, like a position winker kit. This basically changes the pos position uh, lamp to a, a winker. No, no. <laughs> it basically changes um, the winker the, uh, to a position lamp because uh, this hit likes the USDM one. So, you know. Um, the, the USDM bob has um, two wires inside and um, just couldn't clear Japanese inspection but whatever you know that's not the main of the, the story here um, the, these are related to Valentini one so forget it okay these are the Olin's uh, road and track um, suspension that I installed a couple of while ago I mean you can check out the other videos um, it's a pillow ball right here and um, on the other side right there so yeah, I don't have a um, uh, tow bar. No, not a tow bar. I don't have a strut bar there. So yeah, probably gonna remove these and move it somewhere if I add a strut bar. But basically, yeah, these are the the um, Olin's Road and Track that I started a, couple, a while ago, and I'm now on my stock OEM wheels that came with the car. Uh, if you're wondering, the size is a 245 by 40 or 18 inch, and the offset is a plus 55. And these are the suspension, right? The, the yellow um, stock, a uh, Olin Springs. And the stock height's about, about two and a half finger right there. And uh, yeah, basically um, this is it. The, the suspension, I uh, have been riding them for about, oh, you can see the back one. It's right inside there. I don't think you can see it. It's kind of hard to see it there, yeah. But yeah, basically, um, this uh, only is road and track. I've had them for about three, four months now. Uh, they have 20 levels of adjustment and uh, I've been playing with the settings uh, since the very first day I got it. And uh, I just can't seem to find the right balance uh, for comfort and performance. Um, if I deal it to like um, fully closed and about 11 or 10 clicks from fully closed, the ride is really stiff <laughs> i mean yeah it is really stiff so if you're going on high speeds like on highway all the time it is amazing like um you know you can you can push the car around a little bit you can go around the corners the car feel really stable firmly planted onto the road on all fours but uh when you come into the back road to where i am now this is the kind of road you know that leads to my house and it tends to be a lot of uh, potholes um, on the outside of the road there that comes into my house and uh, because uh, it snows like every season and the, the road kind of like freezes up over time so over many years the road cracks and there are a lot of potholes so if you hit those bumps those potholes at um, 10 settings from fully close at maybe about 20 to 30 kilometers you're gonna hurt yourself bad and it's like Dah! and you're like maybe I broke something in the car, that is, you know, it is really that bad. So if you dial it to maybe a little bit softer, like, I don't know, 15 to the front and 16 to the back or like 13 to the front or 15 to the back or anywhere in the settings, it's, 
not too bad for the macros, but still, I haven't tried. Now I'm on like, because now it's winter, uh, it's pretty cold uh, a couple of days ago in, in last week uh, with lows about negative seven. So I put in, uh, I think 15 for the front, 15 from fully closed and 17 on the back. And uh, when I hit those potholes, it still hurt like quite bad. <laughs> so um, if I'm not going long distances, not on highway and stuff like that are the lower settings. I mean, the soft, softer settings are highly recommended uh, on, you know, not the perfect roads, but um, if you're going on highways and traveling a lot on really nice roads, uh, go for the stiffer settings. And I'm still yet to find the perfect balance. Um, the best uh, ride that I have tried is um, the JDM version of the 2015 WRX STI that came equipped with the yellow Bilstein suspension. Um, that car, straight out of the factory, straight out of the dealer, rides just amazing. The rebound, the firmness of the rebound is just nice. And it's not harsh. And uh, I've been trying to, f you know, get to that setup for a long time, but I just couldn't um, fine tune this car to get to that perfect setup, you know, from the 2015 WRX SDI. Uh, I still have to play around with the settings a little bit, but um, we'll see how it goes. Now it's winter, uh, I will go for a softest ride just because uh, when it's cold, the oil, um, the lubricant in the suspension uh, might be a little, you know, thick as compared to other temperatures like summer. So you might want to, uh, it's highly recommended, you know, to give it a softer settings so that you can absorb a, a bit more. And um, yeah, so far I'm loving this suspension. The, the, the ability to adjust the, the um, firmness, uh, the damper rebound of the suspension is just amazing. Um, it, it just kind of, you know, gives you a lot more freedom to adjust the suspension to suit what kind of driving you are if you want to track the car. That's why it says road and track, you know, only it's, and uh, to adjust the suspension is not really hard on, on the back. You just have to pop the trunk. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, on the back of the car, you just have to pop the trunk and uh, remove the carpet and stuff like that. There's the little knobs on top, and you can just turn it to all the way to fully close. And from there, it's just little clicks, and you can feel it, you know, slowly. And from the front, um, basically, um, what I do to adjust the suspension in the front is that I start the car because you can't turn the steering wheel without starting the car. You, you kind of start the car, and then you turn the steering wheel either all the way to the left. Uh, or all the way to the right. You turn it all the way to the right to adjust the left suspension. No, you turn it all the way to the left so that the tire faces left out to adjust the left suspension and all the way to the right and to adjust the right suspension. Basically, um, the suspension is right here. So if you turn the tire all the, all the way to the left, this front part will come out and all you have to do is just fit your hand underneath there. There's a little valve there, you can fiddle with it. It's, it's not hard, I've done it like on the fly a lot of times, so it's really um, easy. So now let's just dive right into the car. Um, maybe I should go in from the passenger side so you can see uh, what's going on. Okay, basically, yep, not much has changed to my car except um, all the little upgrades uh, that I've done. Maybe I should just uh, go into the car. Pardon me on this. Um, okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I might be a little shaky because I'm holding this um, on a selfie stick. Um, okay, now it's inside. It's all warm and cool. <laughs> okay, basically, um, these are my Recaro seats. Um, these are the ASM. Uh, Yokohama ASM and Recaro combination. You can only get it in Japan, I think. Um, I don't think you can get it outside Japan. It's a limited um, model. It's called Ruby. And it's, it's got um, like um, Alcantara here. And at the side, bolsters. And it's got leather for the um, shoulder bolsters. And uh, this little guy here, yeah, I got it this year in, uh, in Tokyo Disneyland. It's a 2016 Halloween model. It's like this black and white white or monotone um, Mickey Mouse with fangs on it. I mean, I went there with my, to celebrate my son's uh, third birthday, so, you know, so I get something and I uh, decided that this little guy here is gonna be my um, driving partner. <laughs> okay, these seats, um, yeah, they hold you really well and um, once you get used to the, the hassle of getting in and out of the car, 
you will love these seats. I mean, racing seats are not for everyone, but if you love driving, especially, you know, long distances, um, winding roads, highly recommend getting a, um, a full bucket seat because um, this just hold you really well. Once you get in the car, you don't really want to get out of the car. And um, racing seats, you're not supposed to fit them into one straight position. Um, you move them all the way to the back and then you get in the car and then you put a little lever at the bottom and just move them forward to your, uh, you know, driving position. And every time you get out of the car, you got to move the seat back. So over time, the working mechanism that moves the seat front and back might get... Um, worn out you might need to replace those but that's um those are racing seats it's not possible to just have them in one position they're really comfortable um they don't offer the most um comfortable cushioning but um the support the comfort it's there and uh in, in winter you know if you're a little big and beefy with all your jackets and stuff you might have a little problem um fitting in on your you know the side of your body but uh, other than that um it's really, really comfortable, and uh, I have no complaints about these seats. I've loved them. Um, awesome seats. Uh, and then uh, what else? Uh, these uh, um, Alcantara hood um, cover, the insole here. No, what is it? the insole? The console, the center console here. These are all um, nicely wrapped by, um, what is the company? Uh, Overland Designs here. Yeah, I send these. Um, I basically dismantled all these and uh, sent them to Overland Designs in the US and had them all wrapped up with me. And this night, um, Subaru pick knob here, this upgrade, this bar knob here, it's by Mod Addiction, if I'm not wrong. Um, it's a little weight to it. Um, basically, yeah, this, all this, uh, mostly cosmetics, uh, but it feels good in the car. I like it. Um, and this one definitely feels good. Uh, it's just sad that, you know, in the Japanese, if you want to clear the uh, Japanese inspection, um, with no, like, gear markings here, you can clear it. So I can just remove this and put on the OEM one and then send it for inspection and then switch back. But uh, I figured I got to do that every two years so much. So I get a little sticker for, like, $5 or something, $4 or something, and just stick it here. I mean, it, it doesn't look good. Um, you know, but whatever, you know, it says monster. <laughs> I think it's by this brand called Monster. Yeah, basically, um, this is um, the review um, for some of the upgrades that I've done to my car. I, um, everything that I've done to my car, I've loved it so far. Um, suspension, I'm loving it. It's just, you got to find the right balance. So you got to find, um, you know, the right settings. But um, it's only a matter of playing, a, playing around with it. And in all these upgrades, um, you gotta put them in a car, try, use them for a while, and see, you know, um, how they perform, and kind of fine tweak from there. Is I mean, it's easier to add little parts here and there, and then just um, get used to it and tweak it from there. Then it just get a lot of parts at one go, and you don't feel the difference uh, uh, for every single part. <laughs> but there are certain parts like you have to get everything in one go. Like um, if I'm probably gonna get like um, like a proper downpipe and uh, the air filter change out to a cone uh, shot air intake by cope uh, if i'm not wrong and then i gotta get an engine team that all gotta come together you know you can do it like separately <laughs> but other than that yeah i mean it's not too bad i hope you guys are doing good and um um if you like the video you know click on like if you want to subscribe subscribe you know i mean i would my um, growing my fan base a little bit but in the meantime uh, wherever you are take care and uh, I'll see you guys in future videos take up what is it? see ya <laughs>